In this video, we will be exploring the material and resource section on the Standards Aligned System, SAS. To begin, navigate to pdesas.org. When you arrive at the website, you should make sure that you are logged in. You will know that you are logged in because in the upper right hand corner, you will see your name with SAS tools listed. This is extremely important in the materials and resource section because today we are going to be saving resources to our ePortfolio. So to start, go to materials and resources. As you recall from previous videos, when you click on the top or hover over the top, all of the different items that are listed are right there. If you click again, you will see a different view option. Today we are going to be looking specifically at how to search for materials and resources. When you click on it, you're at the spot where you're going to start your search. Today we're going to start by searching by keyword. So if you have a unit on Civil War and you want to find an additional resource, if you click in the word Civil War, you will see there's 126 results based on your search criteria. You could narrow it down a little further by selecting a specific grade level. Then you will see anything that is appropriate for seventh grade. As you can see, some of the resources that are provided span multiple grade levels. This would be great for any classroom that has a variety of grade levels, either in your classroom or ranges of students. If you click on any of the titles, it will take you to where you need to go. To the right of that is the content type. So if I click on this, the Civil War, as photographed, by Matthew Brady, you will see it's a web-based content. You will see all the grades, levels, you will see the course or subject, the related academic standards, and then this should look familiar from our curriculum framework. The big ideas, the concepts, and the competencies. Listed below you will then see the description. And then you will have access to the web-based resource when you click on it. If you are going to be leaving the PDE SAS.org website, you will get a message that lets you know that you are no longer under the website issued by PDE. This will take you to the resource. and it will link you to other resources as well. It will then give you different photographs that you can use for your exploration and classroom discussion. If you feel like this is a valuable resource for your classroom, go back to the top, click on options, and here is where you have three options. You will get a printer-friendly version, you can email it or add it to your ePortfolio. When you go to the ePortfolio section, we're going to click it there, add. Now, as you can see, I already started a resource and folder titled Civil War 7th grade. So if I click in there, I can choose the folder. So go to the top. Here is the name for the bookmark. You could put a description if you want. Then I can choose this folder. And drop it right in. After you bookmarked that specific article, web resource, or whatever you found, you can go back to it by starting up by your name, going over to ePortfolio, clicking on the ePortfolio, finding the specific folder that you created for that grade level, 
and then all of the resources. So here is the photographs by Matthew Brady. If you go over to the right hand side, you have your options to either edit it, move or delete. That is how you bookmark resources that you find. So to go back to materials and resources, search the materials, either search by keyword or grade level or both, and that will take you to all the different collections and articles that are found on SAS.